How is it going everyone? Today I'm here with my WWE Mixed Match Challenge Season 2 Week 12 review. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump right into the video with my raw thoughts on this week's episode of the Mixed Match Challenge. Just absolutely terrible. You know, this episode was just horrendous in my opinion. Not one good match. Not that the show usually has any good matches, but this was just not a fun show to watch at all. One of the worst episodes by far in the series. Not just the season, but in the series if you ask me. I'm so incredibly happy that next week is the season finale. That So I don't have to watch the show anymore. This show to me is just dragged on. And even though it's season 3, 4, 5, 6, I have no plan on watching any of those. Because I'm just so fed up with the show. And I'm just very glad that next week is the final or the season finale. Thank you. I made it through. I couldn't believe it. So, yeah. Uh, of course, this week was the SmackDown Live quarterfinals. Of course, the first match being R-Truth and uh, Carmella taking on Charlotte Flair and Jeff Hardy. This was not not much of a match at all, to be perfectly honest. You know, R-Truth and uh, Jeff Hardy started off. R-Truth and Jeff Hardy, of course, got into, you know, pretty much locked up. R-Truth, you know, rolled him through. Jeff Hardy came out, counted out of it. And then, of course, R-Truth did his dance and Jeff Hardy kind of mimicked him. They tagged out. Charlotte Flair just pretty much dominated Carmella throughout the entire time they are in the ring. At one point, uh, Carmella tried to do the dance break, but Charlotte just knocked her out. And, uh, you know, R-Truth and Carmella on the outside. Then, of course, you know, Charlotte and Jeff Hardy kind of went to the outside to get them. But they jumped in the ring, did a quick dance break. And then, of course, Charlotte tagged Carmella. Charlotte went for the moonsault. Carmella hit her down with a scissors uh, off the top rope. Tagged in R-Truth. R-Truth ran rough shot on Jeff Hardy. Hit the scissors, kick, But, of course, uh, Charlotte broke up the pin before, uh, before the three count. And then, of course, Jeff Hardy hit a twist of fate. Went over the swanton bomb on R-Truth. But Carmella actually laid on top of R-Truth to you know kind of postpone it but of course you know charlotte dragged carmella out jeff hardy went for the swanton hard truth got out of the way uh rolled up jeff hardy one two three carmella and our truth get the win in advance to the semifinals next week like i said not much of a match at all it was pretty much just a segment it was just a dance break and just very very little wrestling you can tell they didn't really try at all in this match so nothing of a match our truth and carmella advance which you know was kind of obvious to me because I, I didn't think jeff hardy or, Car or charlotte would be going to the finals anyways or let alone the semifinals so it made sense, you know, and it gave him a big win, so I'm not going to complain at all about that. Just whatever. And then, of course, the main event, which was the second quarterfinals uh, match for SmackDown Live. The Miz and Asuka, of course, taking on Jimmy Uso and Naomi. Okay match here, not really much to it. You know, uh, Asuka and Naomi started off. They played in their, you know, friendship where they shook hands, and Miz actually got pissed off at Asuka for doing that. Uh, tags in, and, you know, Miz and Uso go at it for a little bit then of course Miz pretty much just dominates Jimmy Uso uh mocking Uso in front of Naomi pretty much you know saying like haha you can't tag in and just beating him down as he's doing that and then of course you know um Miz is has Jimmy and Uso in a headlock and you know is telling Oscar he doesn't trust her anymore blah 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 and then of course you know Jimmy Uso is finally break free tagged in Naomi Naomi got a you know hot tag which was just absolutely awful like she went for like a, a forearm and like I don't know if Oscar would like hit her as well but it came off so terribly and then there was another spot where I think it might have been the hip at the uh, ass attack or it was something that something else that oh it was the head scissors that she did and Oscar just did not take it well at all it looked absolutely terrible so it wasn't a good hot tag and then of course you know her and Asuka had some back and forth you know hit a uh, insecurity for a near fall and Miz broke it up and then of course you know Jimmy Uso dumped him out and then Asuka hit the uh, hip attack on the ropes when Jim Uso standing on there uh, some cradles rolled through with Naomi and Asuka and then Asuka of course cradled through with the Asuka lock and of course Naomi submitted and Asuka and the Miz went in advance to the semifinals to take on R-Truth and Carmella next week in the finals or the uh, the finale of the Mixed Match Challenge of course these finals taking place at TLC in two weeks but uh, the finals uh, the final episode of the season will take place next week so Miz and Asuka win they advance to the semifinals like I said not really much Excuse me, not really much of a match. It was our, you know, it was an okay match, but not really much to it. Uh, but like I said, terrible episode of the Mixed Match Challenge this week. Didn't enjoy it at all. It just, you know, this show just just needs to stop. Obviously, the the heart isn't there. You know, the competitors don't really care for the show. And they're just doing it for the sake of doing it, I guess. And I don't know. What the, the first season had definitely has not shown at all. Hasn't been shown at all in this season. So I really don't see reason for them to keep furthering this show, but... Next week, semifinals, which of course leads into the finals of TLC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please like below. And of course, next time, I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching the video. Not